There's never really a big break. There's a, I've had like a series of breaks and it continues to be a series of them. Changeling was like the biggest film that I did. That was a movie in around 2006 with Angelina Jolie, Clint Eastwood movie, Oscar nominated movie. And I had never been a bad guy. And then Gordon happened, Northcott, the Changeling. And then it, it, was, a, it was a long, it was a lot of bad guys. Um, and that's only the ones I said yes to. I said no to a whole lot of other ones. I came here with no training. What I was ready to learn and what I was given to learn and the people who I learned it from uh, were in positions where they were not only good at what they wanted, to, what they were doing, but they were also interested in what they were doing. So Gary Hopper was my first acting teacher and, and I am tremendously indebted to him and to Liz Hopper actually for her discipline and her structure and her candor. Um, so they gave me a sense of ethic, of discipline, of expectation, of how to be, well, how to be a professional person. And then obviously within a, an artistic um, profession, how to begin to do those things. I like um, changing it up. It's important to me. I've done a lot of television, um, episodic television, and a fair number of movies. I like going back and forth to the stage. Obviously, I like that feeling. I like being in control that way. I like that kind of collaboration. Yes, I like being in front of an audience in terms of that immediate energy, but I like the skills that I get to flex and work out, and I miss them. I try to do at least a play a year. With television, the great thing about being on Ozark for so long, when you're a series regular on a show and so you get to know you're very much a part of the family, you're very much a part of that daily interaction with the crew and all the departments and I like that because of my theater background. I'm trying to as long as I can afford it in all of the definitions, not just financial, but I'm trying to be a little choosier. I mean there's not I don't have the problems that uh, some people have in terms of being, you know, over 40 um, looking for roles. There are roles, so I'm not going to complain about that. There aren't as many as when I was in 20 or 30. Um, and also, the, I, I just am gonna, I'm trying to hold off and waiting for something that I really want to do.